Building a computer from scratch, day 19. On day 18, I briefly explained what an ALU was. With that, we know the ALU can be broken up into two respective parts, the arithmetic unit and the logic unit. This is easy to understand, but unfortunately, it is more expensive to execute this way. You can actually save components by strategically wiring each component. Here is a diagram of my ALU in a simulator. This ALU is very simple. For those of you who say I need to add this and that, my current goal doesn't need those additions. My computer is only going to run very simple softwares, uh, sort of similar to like a Game Boy. So what's first? Right here, let me remove everything that I do not need. As you can see, we have two MUX16 circuits and two NOT16 circuits. On the left, we have some inputs. We have two number inputs. These are labeled as A and B, and we also have six extra buttons. Right now, we can ignore all of these except for these two that are lit up. These are called ZX and ZY. This stands for 0X and 0Y. The purpose of this is to make either input X 0 or input Y 0. We can obviously have both of these inputs as 0 if we'd like, but being able to make each input 0 is very helpful. This can help us do things to the other number, such as invert it, make it negative, add one, or subtract one. All of these functionalities have a very important purpose to the computer. Next, we have NOT16. I'm including NOT16 here because I'm building these on the same breadboard. NOT is actually very helpful. There's another neat thing about NOT in this specific location. I'll wait to tell you this secret later. I'm sure some of you know if you've already gone through this journey before. NOT16 will give us the ability to have an output of just one. It also gives us the ability to make one of the inputs negative. Using NOT also lets us subtract our numbers. This may be confusing on why that is. I'll explain how all this works on day 20. Well. I guess it's time to show you the circuit. Here we have it. I actually made two. So now each input can be zeroed and it could be not. Mux allows us to select between two numbers. In this case for zero, I just grounded Mux's B input. This would be equivalent to zero. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video where I built this. I'm getting to the point where my videos are gonna start taking a little longer to produce, so there might be a few gaps in between each video. Also, if you're interested in building a computer of your own, I have started a new YouTube channel that explains how to do this yourself. The channel is called Jurassic Vader. Currently, there are only three videos up, but I make a new video every single Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you on day 20.